Bon. <laughs> Welcome to Snack Break, everyone. I'm Ren with Source, and today is Wednesday, May 27th. Um, before we get started, I'll explain a couple things about the webinar tool. So you're all muted automatically, but you have access to the live chat, so you can pop in your favorite emoji to try it out. Um, you can also use the live chat to ask questions or comment. We'll make sure we answer any questions you have during the presentation, so bring it on. We love those. Um, we'll also send you a recording of the webinar after this presentation so you can check it out afterwards and remember everything you've got. So today's guest is Brad with Design 9 Group. Hey, Brad, what's going oh, on? Hello. Can you um, tell us a little bit about the um, your background and the products that you rep? Because you're a multi-line rep. Correct. So my background is my education's in architecture. I've always lived on the interior side. Mm -hmm. multiple furniture dealerships and then I was bugged forever to start wrapping things and so I was like okay I'll do it <laughs> you jump ship <laughs> yeah I jump ship someone said do it and it was it's it's honestly it was difficult the first year because you're a pioneer and no one knows your name or your brands and now it's fun and I have some good brands and I've changed a couple and there's a couple new things and so yeah Sweet. So we're going to talk about two of your new brands and the new products that they've got which are super pumped Correct. Pumped on. So let's talk about the first one, Jamie Beckwith. This is totally new to me, so let's hear it. So Jamie Beckwith is a collection of wood products and tiles and sizes. I'll give you an example just so you can see scale. So here's yeah. a puzzle piece. So as you see the slides with the little puzzle pieces and there's one with a diamond there. So mm -hmm. here's the actual diamond. There's my hand for scale. Yeah. You basically build the patterns and designs with the finishes and colors, and then you do a feature wall or a ceiling, and there's, I don't know, over 35 or 45 patterns within that collection. I liked it because right now, for me, multifamily, hospitality, I'm getting so many requests for feature walls mm -hmm. because no one wants to do drywall anymore. They want some texture, some color, some acoustical value. Something has to be on that wall to make it not so plain and help sell the space. That's really uh -huh. why I picked it up. Okay, so how do you install it? So here's another one. This one has bolts on the face and squares. Uh -huh. If I go to the side profile, it's basically laminated plywood. There's the back of the plywood. So mm -hmm. you're either glued or screwed to the wall, or you could go with Z-clips, but I don't think you'd do Z-clips because all the pieces are so small. Got it, okay. It doesn't come in full sheets, doesn't come with a mesh like tile does to make a whole thing. You individually put all these up. Okay. And where is it made? So Jamie lives in Tennessee. The company started in Tennessee. Everything was made there. Mm -hmm. Production costs in order to keep it affordable and keep the company going, moved all the production into Tijuana. Okay. So they have an office in San Diego that runs all the um, procurement and production, but she's still in Tennessee and head office and all the, the okay. marketing material. And so can it, I see there's an option here on the floor. Is that yeah. typical as well? Yeah, I would say for me, just in my line of, I get asked for wood floors once a year. Okay. <laughs> Commercially, I don't think people just like them for the maintenance, the scratches, the, I just don't see them selling as much as you think they would. Residentially, it's usually the opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, people want wood, they don't want LVT in their house, they'll spend the money. They're yeah. okay if they have to refinish it, they'll be careful, so. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show the next, this oh, one, one this one's super cool. Yeah. Um, this so one's super tiny. Oh yeah, I see. It's a coaster. It is like a coaster, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So those are all just individually glued on. Glued on, yeah. So okay. the pattern would be basically how the installer keeps turning them or doesn't turn them. Mm -hmm. And I believe this one comes in six or eight colors. Okay. And it's really what it does. I, I've never seen through all her slides and all her products, Jamie, have six floors or hallways. It's usually something behind a reception desk. It's usually some huge feature. Okay. And so designers, um, can they pick, they pick the shape that they want, the collection that they want, and then do they get to pick the species or the stain or how does that work? You go from the, so here's, let's just grab these quick. Here's what I picked, but I'm two different colors. Uh huh. So you start with the pattern, uh -huh. then you get into the colors. Okay. And they'll do custom patterns and custom colors. And I, I, I've only had the line a week, so I can't tell you honestly <laughs> what, what the 
minimums are. It's brand new to you too. I love it. It's really new. They just added eight reps. Wow. Okay. So, so this is any momentum. Yeah. And so it's hardwood mounted on a plywood backer, which means it's probably a little bit more dimensionally stable. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Sweet. Well, this is like super easy. I love it. Do you, as a designer, you can just be like, here's my wall. Here's what I want it to look like. And off you go. Right. Like out of the box. Yeah. yeah pretty much it. Okay. And do you need a special installer for this or is like, no, anyone can do this? No, no it's, I mean, for me, having plywood forever, I would lean on mill workers more than anyone, but I'm mm -hmm. sure that GC could put it up or, you know, if it was a hotel and they were just doing a little um, nook in the drywall, it's just someone using um, construction adhesive to put it up. Okay. Is it able to be like cut in the field to like get those yeah. edges? Nice. Okay. Yeah, you could. Um, let me grab this other one. So here's one that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. If you don't see the pattern, right? Yeah. But that's something that you could just put it on a table saw or a chop saw and take a piece off or a corner off. Or if you had to cut an outlet because there was an outlet, mm -hmm. cut a hole in it. Easy peasy. Yeah. I love that. Um, yeah, if here, had... I'll just show you that quick if you can see. Just the yeah. patterns on the postcards. Yeah. Awesome. And are they, do you know if they happen to be, if you can get FSC certified by any chance? Um, from what I've been told, you cannot because okay. it's plywood. Okay. And I think if you went to FSC plywood, they would do it, but you're going to drive your cost up a ton. And okay. the concern was, yes, we should go that way, but B, these are such small feature walls. No one's like blasting mm -hmm. towards multifamily. It's not in healthcare. They're not going after schools. They're just yeah. little feature walls. So. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Um, so can you talk, you just mentioned Plywood, Kit Plywood. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about Plywood? They are a pretty cool company and they do a lot of stuff. Okay. So Plywood, I've had four years mm -hmm. and the first year was pretty good. And the second year was better. Last year, 2019, it doubled sales. I'm on track to double again. Uh, the reason is which you wish every manufacturer would do. And I would love is come out with new things. Yeah. Because every designer's like, I've seen plyboo, it's bamboo, we're not using bamboo. Mm -hmm. So the secret to this product is if we go to the edge, I don't know if you can even see it, maybe mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So it's a triple laminated bamboo product. So it's cross laminated three directions. And what it does is then stability is it won't bend and warp. Got it. And, then, and what they did was they did bamboo flooring forever. Mm hmm that market dropped off. Not everybody wants bamboo in their house or commercial space. They started making plywood. Well, plywood's super strong and they can do shelves. So all the Wajimaya village, all the Japanese villages in Seattle okay. have plyboo, bamboo, plywood shelves. Uh huh. And then they started to router patterns in it. Okay. Well, now if we router it and we cut holes in it, we can make sound attenuation panels. We can make cool panels. We can make cool patterns. And this was the first one came out called linear line. Okay. So this comes in four by eight sheets. So you only have to glue up so many or screw up so many. You can use Z clips and it's a great feature wall. They're also really, really good at ceilings. And so I've done probably six or seven ceilings last year between Alaska and Seattle. And it's just been really great. And then Futura came out with different routers. So basically all they've, they've done is gone back to router different things into it and create more. I mean, you can look at the slide there, the Futura. Mm-hmm. So those are sold by four foot by four foot squares and that pattern is routed in there and then you pick your standing color. Okay. And so this is the ply, like the bamboo plywood that they plywood. are routing. Okay. Yeah. And so can you get just sheets of the, the ply, the bamboo ply? You can buy the bamboo plywood for the same price you would buy oak plywood for. Oh, dang. Okay. Or maple plywood. So it's not any more than a mill worker buying a sheet. Now, could you router your own patterns? Sure, knock yourself out. <laughs> it's easier when they do it. <laughs> when they do it. The other yeah. advantage is they'll stably build the sheet. So yeah. if you look at like, I don't even know which one has it. So this one is brand new. Mm -hmm. It's routed on an angle. It's got two different colors. When you flip over the sheet to mount it to the wall, there's weird cuts in the back. Yeah. Why do you do that? If you don't do that, this will warp because of the staining. Um yeah powdering in the face so that's one of the tricks is when you have someone who's an expert at bamboo this is the things they know right um the other thing is it's fsc certified it meets all your um declare oh great smith and fong owns plyboo 
Smith okay. Kong is the only company in the world right now that owns their own forest in China. So Plybu actually comes from Plybu Forest. It's okay. not a third party. So they can really control that quality and how they're yeah. treating their people. Correct. And then with pricing, they don't have all these stepping stones where this becomes, you know, $3,000 a sheet. And you're like, well, right. it will never get used. Right. And so as a designer, you can go and you can pick the pattern, you yep. know, how it's oriented, and then you can pick the, the stain or the color. Correct. And okay. then And then crazy creative design firms, if it's 10 sheets or more, you can pick your own pattern and draw it in CAD. And you can pick your own colors or stain and do whatever you want. Oh, wow. So you can make a really big impact. 10 sheets is not very much. No. At, so 32 square feet. So that's, you know, 320 square feet, which is just a little wall. Once yeah. you get above that as a feature. So there's you know, two design firms for me in Portland that know this and just go crazy. Nice. <laughs> um, so how is it installed? Like, does a designer need to do something special for the detailing? Does it need a special kind of drywall or like what's what's up with no. that? So in the troughs, uh -huh. you would go in with a tech screw uh -huh. in between the, the high points to the low points. Mm -hmm. Or you could Z clip it, which is the most common for us right now. Um, we just did the Hilton in Portland that has a ton of this in there with the darker kind of grayish color. Mm hmm. And then as you get into, I'll just show you this. So this is linear line. They've had this three years. Mm -hmm. This is the new stuff that someone said, why don't you do angles? So it has shadows and looks different colors from different sides. Oh, dang. That is cool. So this, is is this is Louver. Okay. That's where Louver came from, the whole thing. Now, if you take Louver and go crazy with the colors. Yeah, you start to get that depth and that texture. Yeah, with the camera. So you can see the little pyramids. Yeah. It looked on, and then you start going this way, it gets darker. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's crazy when you start seeing all the new Louvre stuff. They've sent me like 40 samples, and you're like, this is insane. So can designers choose the stains and, and get really custom with this one as well? Ten sheets or more. Ten sheets or more. That's Sweet. all it is. And so can you talk a little bit about the acoustic properties of this? So the acoustical came about about three years ago when you know you're gonna put a hard surface on a hard surface mm -hmm. how do we how do we fix this so all the nrcs are tested on this what happens is when this mounts on a wall there's a z-clip system mm -hmm. and then there's an acoustical backing go in between the z-clips that cover these holes as okay. The apples okay is that something that designers need to specify sort of separately or is that something that like plybu can help them figure out so if you pick Let's call it louver. If I pick louver as a designer, mm -hmm. I'd like to do this louver. This is um, grayish with noir, and the pattern is, I think this is called butterfly, butterfly <laughs> 15. Yeah. So this would be louver. If it had holes in it, it would be louver sound. Okay. But then it comes with the baffles, and it, it comes, comes with, with it. Yeah, there's okay. a price difference, obviously, because they're routering and all the holes and then the acoustical backing. Right. But then you get an acoustic product like kind of out of the box, which is pretty great. And it doesn't yeah. look as it. I mean, some it's hard to get good looking acoustic material and everyone wants it right now. Right. Everyone wants it. And the other thing is with some of my lines, it's very difficult to get into ceilings and kind of how ceilings work because of code and earthquakes. These guys, mm -hmm. we've done so many ceilings already. There's CAD drawings. There's how these things are mounted. I mean, once you order a sample and say, can you help me with the specs or the drawings or the CAD details? Plywood's already all done all this. Awesome. And yeah. so with the ceilings, is it like grid systems? Is it clouds? Is it all of the above? All of the above. All the, basically like the world is your imagination with plywood is what I'm hearing. Um, Sort of. Four by eight's your biggest, right? Yeah. So if your cloud's bigger than four by eight, you're going to have to piece it. Yeah. Yeah. It's happened once already. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that you don't think of when you're drawing those circles on your in your CAD. Right. Um, so what kind of project types does this work best on? Is there anything that it does not work for? Or is there something like, does the price point really lend itself well to a certain type of project? So there's a lot of commercial office. There's definitely a, a pile of multifamily with Plybu especially, which I'm hoping that's where Jamie Beckwith goes. I would lean on a big no-no for healthcare because you deal with infection control. Mm -hmm. And so when I used to do wall systems, you had to deal with all those points and surfaces and edges. And I just don't think that's a 
So There's you, a lot you, of places to hide in this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as far as a couple of people have asked me, so how do you clean it? Like it, it must get dusty with all these. I'm like, well, first of all, it's never installed this way. Mm -hmm. it's always horizontal or mm -hmm. vertical, sorry. And you could just take a, even canned air or a vacuum or something easy, a vacuum with a brush. Yeah. Like, there's easy enough ways. Okay. Sweet. Um, I love that. Designers, do you have any questions about what to do with Plyboo or any questions for Brad about where you could next use some ply? I'm really excited about this like laminated bamboo because wasn't that one of the issues with bamboo was people were worried about it sort of like cupping and its dimensional stability. Is that what was what brought on that change? Correct. Okay. So that's not something the designers need to worry about. Even if Plyboo, they do flooring, is it still that cross laminated floor? Correct. Correct. Okay. And there's in flooring, there's a strand. So if you know what timber strand is, do you guys understand? Yeah. Well, I could go through lumber for hours. <laughs> so timber strand is basically what happened was when in back in the 60s and 50s when we created beams for mm -hmm. structure, we always used two by tens or solid beams. Then they went to these parallams where they took a two by six and they mm -hmm. would stack them and glue yeah. them. And yeah. so your strength is in the two by six in the adhesive between them. Mm -hmm. Somebody came up and said, you know, it seems like a lot of waste of wood when we shave all these down. There's all these little, they look like um, thread twists of wood. So now they take the thread twists of wood, they put them into a mold, they mix glue with it, and they press it all in. So it's actually timber stranded all together uh -huh. and glued. And those things are really strong. Okay. Like you can over design with those. If your span is 10 feet, it'll go 15 feet, no problem. Wow. Okay. So they've really tried to address that issue that was in the past. Yeah. Kind of like you had plywood forever and then OSB came out and the OSB mm -hmm. is basically wood chips with glue so that you're not throwing all the wood chips into recycling. You can actually make another product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. So if you look at even on this one, see the size of the little bamboo? Yeah. So you're using such little, little strands, almost like a chopstick that they adhere these all together in the middle and then the top and the bottom are stranded the other way and glued. Nice. So that yeah. really, it's, it's strong. It's, it's like an engineering Marvel. Yeah. Cool. Um, awesome. Well, thank you, Brad designers. Um, ask any questions you've got. We've got a little time here. So if you have some questions for Brad, feel free to put them in the chat. In the meantime, you can always head to our website, to the source.com to order samples um, right from Brad. So you should definitely do that because it sounds like you've got some, brand new stuff to yep. show everyone um and designers well, we, yeah and i have a lot of samples because i'm not in libraries so they're stacking up <laughs> exactly. so designers he's asking you please please order the samples <laughs> your your garage is full yeah we might even come with a free bottle of red wine <laughs> We got to do what we can. Um, designers, if you want to register for another snack break, you can do that here as well. Um, I'd be happy to see you tomorrow or next week. We've got some cool ones coming up. So, Brad, it was great to see you. I hope Thank we you can so much. see you in person here shortly. Awesome. Thank <laughs> All you right, so we'll much, talk you guys. Later. Okay. Bye. Bye.